So my background is about as far opposite uh, from the cannabis space as it could possibly be. My first career, uh, I retired from the Fort Worth Police Department. I served 20 years there. I retired as a sergeant in 2018, and I spent most of my career in the Tactical Operations Division, including in SWAT as a team leader. So I would have never imagined that I'd find myself in the cannabis space today, but here I am. Thrive Apothecary is a full cannabis solution. We are the only store in Texas that is able to provide all levels of legal, legally available cannabis. So we have everything from traditional uh, CBD products derived from hemp to all your emerging THC derivatives like Delta-8, Delta-9, THC-0, and all these really cool new uh, forms of cannabis that are emerging. And then what really separates us is we are also able to prescribe medical cannabis so the co-owner is my wife, Dr. Lisa Gardner, and she is a provider for the state of Texas for medical cannabis. So we can really take care of all your cannabis needs here, as well as we are an official pickup location uh, for medical cannabis from the Texas Original Dispensary. So they bring their medical cannabis products up from Austin to our store, and you can come pick it up for free here. So the idea of Thrive Apothecary and really getting into the cannabis space, like most things, started with a woman. Uh, so my lovely wife, Lisa, uh, she's a board certified practicing physician and she has a very successful private medical practice, but she really felt like a majority of her patients were still suffering from some very common symptoms like anxiety, chronic pain, um, sleep issues, things like that. And so she really felt like she didn't have any more tools in her toolbox. And so we began exploring cannabis back in 2017, and we really felt like it was a, another great tool to add to her toolbox to be able to offer her patients. And it just grew and grew, and we realized there was really a market and a need uh, for a full service cannabis store here in Fort Worth. And so Thrive Apothecary was born. So the mission of Thrive Apothecary when we first opened was really just to expose the community to initially CBD. This is way back in 2018 when CBD was still pretty much in its infancy uh, here in Texas. Um, it was still a very gray area in Texas. And so we really wanted to just expose people to CBD and cannabis as a treatment option. And over the years, the industry has evolved. It has changed all these new products that we could have never imagined um, you know, be available four years ago or now av available today. So we've seen this explosion of edible products and all new kinds of flour being developed and just really exciting things happening. And so our mission has changed as the products have changed and we really wanna make the plant as available to as many people as possible. One of the other missions that has really evolved is we never saw ourselves as becoming this educational center and this advocacy center that, that we've become, but because of Lisa's background of, as a physician, my background as a retired law enforcement officer, um, a lot of advocacy groups, lobbying groups kind of find that interesting. And so we're, we're asked consistently to go out and speak to other groups about what we've experienced with cannabis, what we see it doing and helping people in our community. And so it's been really exciting uh, to really become a community advocate for the plant. Probably the most common things people come see us for are chronic pain, sleep, um, anxiety, depression, neurological conditions, a whole host of things. And so we really try to have solutions tailored for individual needs. Um, and the way that we kind of give back to our community is through several means. Again, through this advocacy where we go out and we advocate um, to expose people to this plant as much as possible. Uh, the other way we advocate is even here in our store or online, we offer discounts to who we call our heroes. That's going to be our teachers, our medical personnel, um, first responders and military. They always get discounts. And then on the medical cannabis side, we really try to give back to our veterans. So all veterans receive a first initial appointment. Um, you don't pay anything if you're a veteran to get your first medical cannabis appointment. And so we really try to always give back to the people who are giving to us. So I would say it's hard for me to give just one misconception about cannabis. There's a couple that still hang around, and these are the same misconceptions that I was taught 
um, as a kid going to every dare class you know in middle school um, and then going to the police academy and learning about you know drugs and narcotics um, the main ones are is that cannabis is a gateway drug when all the scientific evidence shows that it is not it's far from a gateway drug um, I was taught initially, and I still hear it today, that you know all cannabis is evil and it destroys communities. And we simply know that that's not the case. And then the other big one that we deal with a lot, even when we interact with other professionals, is you can't be a productive member of society if you use cannabis. Um, and you know we can show through anecdotal evidence, even our own personal experience, as someone who takes THC every single day, that you still can use cannabis um, in a responsible manner and be very productive in society. Top three recommendations are one, do your own research. There's a ton of information available. So even if you're on the fence about cannabis, maybe you've been taught something as a child um, or as a young adult, there is so much information available at your fingertips. That's really how Lisa and I got started was through our own self-education. Um, so I would say go out there and get educated. Find out all the information there is available. When you're ready to make a purchase, you want to purchase a product that has been lab tested so you know what's in it. And you want to make sure that that lab test matches up with what the label says is on it. Um, that's really important. So um, one, educate yourself. Two, make sure you're getting a high quality product that's been lab tested and matches the label. And the third thing I'd always say, anytime someone is starting out in cannabis, especially with THC, uh, we, we like to say go low and slow. So start slow, take a smaller dose than you think you're gonna need, take it, wait a little while, see your tolerance to it, see what kind of effects it has on you. Um, and then slowly either start increasing or decreasing your dosage until you find um, what is optimal for you and what works best for you. Uh, there's lots of ways to find out about us. You can visit our websites from thriveapothecary.com, thrivetx.com, and then you can also check out our medical cannabis website at thrivemedicalcannabis.com. We're also um, on social media. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at, at, at Thrive Apothecary and at Thrive Medical Cannabis.